Hi, my name is Anna and I'm Director of Technical Business Development here at M2P Labs. Today, I want to present to you our new application note about media and induction screening. Recombinant protein production is a common technology in bio-based industries. With its workhorse being E. coli due to its ease of genetic modifications and potentially high protein titers. To achieve high protein titers, the cultivation media is of major importance. Here, the nitrogen source is of focus for the protein production. Especially complex nitrogen sources are often efficient but also very versatile. To screen for different media, a high throughput platform is required. The BioLector system offers online measurement of biomass, pH, dissolved oxygen and fluorescences with the option of automated liquid feeding. So what was done in this app note was that different TB media were prepared with six different yeast extracts provided by the company Priscilis to evaluate the impact of these different nitrogen sources on the growth and protein production of the organism. In a first experiment on these different TB media, E. coli growth was observed by the online calibrated OD measurement, which you can see here in figure 1. You can see that the different nitrogen sources lead to different optical densities. But what's even more interesting is the protein production in these different media. Therefore, we used E. coli flavin-based fluorescent protein as a reporter protein for protein production, which is inducible with the inducer IPTG. With the integration of the bioelector into the roboelector, an automated induction dependent on the biomass concentration is feasible. The biomass signal from the bioelector is used as a trigger for IPTG dosing by the liquid handler. So all the different cultures are induced at the same biomass concentration. This increases precision and reduces hands-on time. So with this system combination of bioelector and roboelector, a completely automated induction study with an online measured signal of reporter protein fluorescence is feasible with just one experiment in one microtiter plate. If you're interested and want to know more, please feel free to contact us to get your own free copy of our media and induction screening application note. Thank you for your time and your attention.